Dad? Hello. What took you so long? Were you hiding money? You're silly. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Daddy. Hi, sweetie. Oh, here you are. Oh, thank Some you so much. Some of the so things much. you like. Chocolate, perfume. Thank you so much, Dad. Listen, I can't even stay and make you tea. I have to run to work. I'm late. I thought you said that today was your day off. We've got a new employee, and, you know, I need to explain everything to her, and... That's okay. I had breakfast during the flight. Sorry about the mess I made. I'll clean it up later. It's okay. I'll clean it up, Dad. I've been taking an awful lot of photos. You should really come out and see the photo display on Sunday. Dennis won't be able to. He's taking the car to the mechanic. Come without Dennis, alone, in a taxi, and I'll pay for it. Your mom will be happy to see you. <phone rings> Olga, the phone. Dad, don't pick it up. I'll get it later. I'll bring it to you. Hello. Yes, this is the Prokhorova home. Collector? What kind of collector? Give it to me, please. Hello? Yes, this is his wife. We'll transfer all of the money within two days. Yes, for sure. We won't forget. Oh, Dad, I'm sorry. Dennis had to take out another loan for the store. He wanted to expand the inventory, then the exchange rate started to go up. Hmm. Why didn't you tell me about this? Because I didn't want to worry you. What if they decide to get the police involved, seize your assets, or make you sell the apartment? Dad, the apartment's mine, not Dennis's. But you are his wife, and you can be held responsible for your husband's debt. Doesn't he understand that? Oh, wait, I forgot. He doesn't care about anything at all. I'm going to work. We'll talk later. See you. Dad, don't worry so much. I'm begging you. He can handle it, Dad. <sighs> Healing, part one. You're going to need a cosigner in order for us to lend you that amount. My wife works in a kindergarten. Can she be a cosigner? I'm afraid her income won't be enough for that. How about maybe one of your relatives? My family can't for sure. Maybe my wife's, I'll ask. Yeah, try to talk to them about it. You'll be told the same thing at any other banks you go to. Or they'll offer you a very high interest rate, and the loan itself will become quite expensive. Uh, I see, thanks, bye. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, of course, if there is... I'll call you back later. You're drinking again? Oh, see you, Dennis. You think I never <sighs> see you again and the 300,000 I left you would be a goodbye gift? <sighs> you can't stop me from seeing my yeah? son. Yeah? <laughs> What'd you promise me when I got pregnant? And what's changed in these six years, hmm? Did you buy me an apartment? Are you divorced yet? Maybe that 300,000 is just alimony in advance. It's the least you could do. Vicky. Let go of me. Did you find someone else? Is <sighs> that it? Dennis. I am Sasha's legitimate father. Uh, yeah? Just remember that. Yeah? Darling, why don't you tell your wife about it, hmm? You're a damn coward. <sighs> Mom, let's take the dog for a walk later. Okay, but not for long. <laughs> Come on, go get ready. Alex! Alex! Mm. Mm. Alex! Oh! Mm. Where were you? Where were you? We were
weren't expecting you till Friday. The document's got to shoot sooner. <laughs> I called, but you didn't answer the phone. Mm. Oh. I, I was probably in a meeting. Uh, 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 Yulia, this is. This is your daddy. Do you remember I told you he would be coming to see us soon? Come here, I'll introduce you to him. Yulia. I'm sorry about that. She's just like that with strangers. It's okay, she gets... I understand. It must be hard. Take that off. Hold on. Yeah. Yulia, come over here. I, don't want I told you to, to come I here. Don't come want out to. here. I, don't want I said to. to come out. I'll call work to say I won't be going in. You can come on in. Uh, okay. Mm. Yulia, come here. Listen to me. Mm. Come here, I said. <sighs> Yes, baby, hello. Is Sergey back yet? Yeah. He left his suitcase till tonight. Right, so he'll be there tonight then. Of course he will, but why do you ask? Well, I was at the bank. I can take out a new loan there, but I need a co-signer. You think your father will agree with that? Actually, I think it's out of the question. I got a call from the bank with him there, and he was very angry when he found out that you had a lot of debts. Oh, God, why did you tell him, Olga? I didn't tell him anything. He just concluded it from my conversation. And you couldn't make an effort to try to hide it from him? I'm sorry, I could have, but I got nervous. <sighs> Listen, but why can't I be a co-signer for Look, you? I gotta go. I'm here. I'll call you back later. Sure. You can take a nap. I'll make the bed for you. Thanks, but I slept well on the train. I'm going to work now. I'll call you when I head home. Mm -hmm. He's coughing a bit, but the doctor told me he's no longer contagious. He's only supposed to take his cough syrup after lunch. Here it is. All right, so go to the nurse and she'll make sure he takes it. I was just gonna, oh, Mrs. Prokhorova, uh, hello, hello there. He's still coughing a little. I brought cough syrup. Mm -hmm. He has to drink it after he eats. Elena, could you go to the nurse's office? She'll make sure he gets his medicine, yes. okay? Why don't you all come right, with I'll, me? All right, all right, I'll do that, thank you. Yelena, how are you? Oh, hey. I brought you a book on early development. Read it, thank there's you. a lot of useful thank stuff you. in there. Oh, God, thank you for coming in early. I haven't gotten used to everything here yet. <laughs> oh, come uh, on, children, everything's fine. Children, <laughs> Sasha, faster, sweetie. Good morning. Uh, Good morning. Uh, is this the senior group? Yes. We were transferred to you. Here's his profile. Right? Sasha. Mommy, I don't want to stay here. Are you Sasha, Mommy, sweetie? Don't go, uh, please. Suck it up, Sasha, and stay and play with the children. Come here, sweetie. Go. Come here. Come with me. Sorry, would you fill out the sheet with his contact information? Uh -huh. Is that yeah, okay? Yeah, sure. Sasha, come here. Come, sweetheart. My name is Mrs. Olga, honey, and you're Sasha, right? Your mother probably likes to go to work every day, right? My mom never goes to work. Well, when she does, she likes going there, right? See, children also go to work when they go to kindergarten. Why don't you try it for one day? If you don't like it, then you don't have to come here anymore. Do we have a deal? Jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up. Kira, Kira. <laughs> Kira, this is Sasha. Introduce him to the children, Hello, please. Hello, Sasha. Let's go. <laughs> children. This is Sasha. He's a nice boy. Shall we let him in? Yeah. To our group? yeah. Run, Sasha. How did you do that? <laughs> well, children always get along easier with strangers. Okay. Looks like you're all done here. Huh? <laughs> Andre. Time to go home. Uh-huh. And you'll take it out of my salary? No Come on, way. go. I can't watch you having fun. Just go home. Oh, come on. There's no customers here anyway. This is for the whole day.
Okay, bye. Bye bye. Registry here? On the first floor. Go upstairs. Thank you. <sighs> Dr. Sybin, you're back in town. We were just talking about you recently. Dr. Sybin, I'm so glad that you're back at work. We missed you. Thank you. Welcome back. Where's Vasily? Vasily is in the conference room. Come on. He'll be free in about an hour. Uh. I'll tell him that you're here to see him. Do you happen to know your blood type? Yes, I'm a positive. Mm -hmm. Natasha, did you see? Sybin is back. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, Sybin. He's a doctor from heaven. He was the best reproductologist we had. My God, he had to go through so much. Come in, you'll be in room 215. Your physician is Irina Solovyova. Thank you so much. Excuse me, please, hello. Excuse me, sir? You're Sybin, right? Yes. This might not be an entirely ethical question. Uh, the truth is that I was sent to Dr. Irina Solviova, and I wanted to ask if, if she's actually a good specialist. She is good. And what brings you here? Well, you see, my husband and I have been trying to have children for several years, and we haven't been successful. And I've had all the tests done, everything is fine, but... But a lot depends on having a good specialist, doesn't it? Well, it's not always just about the doctors. There might be good technology, sure. And both spouses might want children, but when nothing seems to be working, maybe it's because there's not enough love. Mm -hmm. I can assure you that's not the case with us two. Man, something is wrong with my watch. What time is it now? Well, Doctor, Excuse it's me. almost two mm -hmm. o'clock. Oh, hi there. How are you? Oh, Alexi, hold on. Colleagues, as I was saying, the operation requires maximum concentration on the part of the surgeon. Hello? Olga, you can you get see, over here? I'm in really big What like happened to you, Dennis? Someone broke into the back of my lunchtime. Right How? Tools, but also I'll come right now. The right attitude, right? <laughs> Excuse me, please it's forgive me. I'm sorry. Vasily? Alex. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. I recognize you immediately. Unbelievable. Yeah, well, you haven't changed either. Actually, you don't look a single year older. Well, I think you know my personal nutritionist well. <laughs> Come on, let's sit down. Listen, I <laughs> just recently was thinking a lot about you. And I thought that if it hadn't been for this terrible thing with your imprisonment and actually this whole nightmare, you'd probably be sitting in my chair in my office right now. No way. Administration and dealing with money stuff isn't for me at all. I'd actually like to continue my work on the medical side of things. Alex, you know, right now, they're making a whole lot of significant cuts to my staff. Though you know that I, I keep fighting to keep our budget, but there's just no money. So you're saying there's no place for me then? Well, 
a person with your reputation, with your level of experience, and your brain can find a job in no time. Any hospital would be happy to have a doctor of your caliber on their team, Alex. I'm used to working here. <sighs> Alex, I just... I, I... I just don't have the funds to hire you. Please understand. All right, I'll go to the ministry. I'll try to see what I can get from them. I'll try to make something happen, but no guarantees. Sorry, I have to go. Yeah, go ahead. If anything opens up, I'll call you right away. And it was really nice to see you. Please keep in touch, Alex. Thank you, Vasily. The police didn't even bother to come investigate. What a disaster. I have no idea how I'm gonna fix all this. I'm all out of money. Listen, don't worry, I'm sure we'll come up with something. You can't even ask your dad, Olga, come on. Besides, you know your parents hate me. I guess they'll be happy now because I'm a complete loser. Dennis? Look, I understand that all of this is unpleasant, but this isn't all that matters in life. What matters in life, Olga? I was just at the reproduction center. They say that they can help us. Nice timing, Olga. We've been together for so long, and we still don't have children. Baby, look. A child will give us strength. Do you understand a child needs to be provided for, and I can't even do that for us? I'll talk to my dad tonight, okay? <laughs> you know what? I think a toast is an order. Let's toast to everything being back to normal. To Alex being back here with us. And not ever leaving us again. And to getting your old job back. Thanks, Marina. You know, I, uh, I never doubted Cheers. that you'd get your job back. What matters is that you can't lose your qualifications. Mm. Actually, I'm probably pretty rusty these days. <laughs> that doesn't matter, Alex. The most important thing is that you are a talented, highly in-demand doctor. And as for everything else, I know you'll catch up. Now let's drink to you. Thanks. You finish your food? Mm. Come on, I'll put cartoons on for you. I still can't find a partner for the project. They don't trust it. But it's actually as good as it sounds. You don't need to do anything and the money just rolls in. I'm sure some work is involved. It's the same as always. Installation of a video surveillance system, turning a camera on and off. Listen, Boris. Why don't you make me your partner? I thought you'd gotten your job back. Well... Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> oh! How are we doing? Feeling lucky to have such a beautiful and <laughs> smart sister-in-law. And wife. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. <laughs> Let's toast. To you this time. <sighs> so I called mom and she said she'd come today, only because mm. I asked her to. I understand her. She's probably very nervous. And Dennis is bringing your favorite Borodinsky in a bit. I don't want his Here you go. Borodinsky. <sighs> well... Honestly, Dad, I asked you to come over tonight on purpose. We want to talk to you, Dad. I wanted to talk to you guys, too. I can't get this situation of yours out of my head. The thing is that Dennis wants to take out another loan, just to pay for the old one. Is he out of his damn mind? We don't have any other way out, Pop. He should have planned, Olga. He should have planned and not done stupid things. And now, this huge mistake, it has to be corrected. Hello, Sergey. How are you? Hello. You're just in time. We were just talking about you over here. 
Actually, about your loans. Oh, do we really have to talk about my debt, Sergey? I have a niche business. First, I need to attract people to make the revenue later. It's not like selling beer. So how much do you owe? 300,000, with interest. And now you plan to take out another loan? How are you going to pay that one off? Or are you not going to pay it off? You think I'll give you the money and everything's solved, huh? No, I think that everything will work out somehow. Nothing ever just works itself out in life. You need a plan. So what's your plan? Tell me. Sergey, I think in our country there's no point in planning anything Oh, really? So you're doing things right, but the country's to blame, is that it? Or maybe you're hoping that I'm gonna bail you out. You know, just because I need your help doesn't mean I need your mockery. Enjoy your meal. Dad, why do you do this? It's all because your husband hasn't learned to think with his own stupid head yet. And you indulge him in everything he wants. You registered him on the apartment. The money that your mother and I had given you was invested in those terrariums. Dad, he is my husband. I love you, but you're being horrible. And if you continue to talk like that about my husband, I'm sorry, but I won't come see you again. Or invite you to dinner, either. Sorry, Dad, but that was too much. So does that mean you're kicking me out? Dad, why are you making me the bad guy now? Olga, because I'm worried sick about you. You're young, charismatic, and beautiful, but take a look at yourself. You're dressed in rags. You haven't done your hair in what seems like years. So tell me, has he given you at least one substantial gift in all these years? No! Fine, I'll leave. He's a bad son-in-law. Well, he's the only son-in-law you'll ever have, Dad. Well, all right. Do whatever you want, then. It's your life. We'll talk later. Some... Ooh. Dad! Ah. Dad! Daddy! Ah. Daddy, what is it? Dad! Ah. Dennis! Dennis, call the ambulance! Ooh. Hurry! Ooh. She's an active one. She's constantly on the move. What kind of toys does she like playing with? Too many of them to name. <sighs> Alex, 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 wait, 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 please, please, wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. Why? <sighs> I wanted to ask you for a favor, actually. Could you sleep on the couch in the living room just for a little while? Sure, no problem. It's just been a long time. I understand. Thank you, Alex. Have a good night. Good night, sleep tight. Olga, how is he, Mom? Oh, thank God they brought him in time. He's well, and tomorrow he will be transferred from intensive care to a normal ward. Mom, thank it's God. all my fault. I knew that Dad had a heart condition. Olga, you're not guilty of anything, and don't ever say that again. How is Dennis? He's really worried. You argued because of him, right? <sighs> Go be with him now, and... Remember, the wife should always protect her husband first. Don't worry about me. I'll take a taxi back home. Okay. Okay. <sighs> so how is he? Were you able to talk to him? No. I didn't even get to see him. He's in intensive care. 
My mom says that everything is fine. I'll go see him tomorrow. <sighs> Olga. Please forgive me, uh, it's all my fault. You shouldn't have asked him. It's not. Don't say that. Things will get better for us. We're strong together, aren't we? Marina. Marina, where are you going? Hello. He's back, isn't he? That's why you don't pick up the phone and you ignore my messages. Listen to me, Igor. We've already decided to take a time out. It will be better for Yulia, okay? I understand. I, I just miss you. I just miss being... Uh... Please, Igor, stop. I can't do this. I need to pull myself together and sort out my feelings. Please, stop. Boris, I beg you, Marina shouldn't find out. Of course I know. Listen, Alex, we shouldn't talk about you getting out of jail. I have a criminal record. So what? Say that you've been working abroad. I don't know, let's say in Bulgaria or something. So what? Nobody can find out. It's uh, in some part of Europe. That's all I really know about Bulgaria. Come uh -huh. on, let's go. Hello. Hello. Thank you, nurse. <sighs> Papa? Oh, sweetie. <laughs> Come closer to me. <laughs> Why are you just standing there? <laughs> Don't be afraid. I'm still alive. How do you feel, Daddy? Much better. I guess I'm taking an unplanned vacation. I'm so sorry, Dad. No need to be sorry. It's all my fault. This is not your fault, Papa. Yes, it is. I never should have offended the host in his own house, Olga. Come on. Let's just forget everything that happened. I've been lying here thinking, and I think maybe I'm wrong about Dennis. And I want you to tell him that I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Dennis is not offended at all, Daddy. He's really worried about you. And as for the loan, sweetheart, I can tell you for certain that you can't pay off one loan at the expense of another. You can get stuck like that. So therefore, I will give him those 300,000 with interest, but then let him get out of this himself. Pop. Relax, sweetie. <laughs> Papa. So then, you worked abroad for the last three years? Yes, in Bulgaria. The language is simple and easy to learn. And you are also employed in the video surveillance system business? Yes, my work included surveillance systems, yes. I asked him to apply. I need an assistant and he's got a talented pair of hands. I can definitely vouch for him. Mm -hmm. Let's swing our arms like this. Let's swing our arms like that. Let's swing our arms like this. Let's swing our arms and jump. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm late, okay, guys. Don't worry. What do we say? Good, Good morning. morning. Come on. Hurry up, children. Hurry up. So how's Sasha? He seems how's he to be doing? all right. Well, actually, he sneezed a couple of times, but he's okay. We have to see if he has any allergies, and we should actually ask his mom about that. Listen, Olga, I mean, I know it's not 
nice to discuss this, but it seemed his mother smelled like alcohol. So what? Maybe it was her day off. Well, yeah, maybe, but... Oh, by the way, Artyom fought with Igor, and I solved the whole situation thanks to your book. Oh, well done. Alex, we have our first customer. Hello there. Oh. What's your name, champ? Sasha. Sasha. And how old are you, Sasha? I'm five. Five years old? Seriously, five years old? You're all grown up, huh? Yes. Yes. What did you have for Sasha? breakfast? Sasha! Sasha! Put that child down immediately! What are you doing here? Everyone's over there. Come on, let's go. You... You? What are you doing here? I'm working. But you're a doctor. Well, I'm a construction worker now. And I suggest that you watch the children a bit better. Uh, don't tell me how to do my job, construction worker. Tough broad. Sasha, now please give me the green one. <laughs> Kira? Oh, uh, goodbye, Olga. See you tomorrow. Oh, see you, Kira. <laughs> well, then, should we try giving your mom a call again? Still not picking up. We'll try her again later. Is my mommy mad at me for running off today, Miss Olga? No, darling, and she wouldn't be mad but worried. Besides, your mom doesn't know anything. Listen, Sasha, why don't we go over to your house? Okay? Okay. Here, we live here. Oh, wow, come on. I live nearby in the building next door, right here. Can you imagine? <laughs> Wait a sec, Sasha. Come here, sweetie. Carefully. Sit down on the bench and wait a minute, okay, darling? Hello, miss. Hello, miss. Are you okay, miss? Mm. You okay? Back off. I'm sorry I'm so late, sweetheart. Yeah, do you know what I bought? Uh, Daria won't just be glad, she'll be happy. Okay, I'm already on my way. Uh-huh. Mm. Had fun last night, huh, miss? <clears throat> How much did you have to drink? <laughs> hey. <clears throat> Was it you who called us? Yeah. Is she your mm. relative? No, I'm her son's oh, kindergarten no, teacher. She's very way. intoxicated. We need to get her hydrated. But it is not free. How much? Five. Here you are. All right. Let's go get oh. you treated. No, hell no. I won't go with you. I'm not mommy, going anywhere. You're mommy. out of your mind. Son, I'll be right back. Okay, I promise. Please, Victoria, cooperate. please, you need to go get treated. Sasha. I'm afraid to sleep all by myself. Who told you that you'll sleep all by yourself? Let's do something. You're gonna come home with me now. We'll have some dinner. We'll go to bed, and tomorrow we'll go to kindergarten. Sound fun? That's yeah. good. Let's go. Come on. Yulia, put your things away. Oh, for goodness sakes. What is that? Hey, you. I bought a present for Yulia. Yulia! 
<laughs> Julia! Ah! Mom, oh, sweetheart! <laughs> Baby, but it's just a toy bear. Mom, Daddy take just it wanted away. to make you feel happy. <laughs> oh. It's too big. Come on, no, it's just Mom, a toy. I hate it. I'm scared. Honey, don't be afraid. It's just a toy. Daddy wanted to make you smile. He's not my oh. daddy. Quiet, quiet. No. Well, Julia, calm down. Look, that's it. The bear is gone now, okay? It's all right. You're safe. <coughs> Olga, I'm home, babe. Hi, honey. Hi. We have company. Who, your mother? No. And also, I've got some news for you. I visited my dad today. What the hell is this about? This is Sasha. He's a boy from my group. His mother's at the hospital. She's sick. And he doesn't know his dad's phone number. They don't live together. So what? How is this our problem? Just for one night. He's a little boy. I can't leave him alone. I can't do that. Could you have at least called and asked my opinion? Or does my opinion mean nothing at all in this family? Listen, I'm really sorry. I, I got nervous and I didn't think about warning you. I'm sorry. I'm tired of being a thing that could be put here or there in the house. Is that clear to you? Dennis, where are you going? I'm spending the night at work. Who was that, Miss Olga? That was my husband, sweetheart. But he decided to spend the night at work. That way we'll have more room. And you're not going anywhere? I'm afraid of staying alone. No, never. Where would I go? I'm not going anywhere. And just so you know, everything will be fine. Show me. What did you build here, huh? This is a castle for Mommy and me. Goodness, it's beautiful. Let's put another tower here to protect the rest of the castle, okay? Sasha, here's some yummy cream cheese. And raspberry jam for you, if you like it. <laughs> eat, 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 eat. Come on, I'm calling your mom now. Victoria, good morning. This is, uh, Olga. I teach Sasha. Uh, I've already been released from the hospital. I'm going home. You know, we actually live in buildings right next to each other. And Sasha and I are already going to the school. So why don't you come straight there? Sounds good? Sounds good. We'll meet there then. Sounds like a plan, yes. Guess what? I called your mommy. She's meeting with us at kindergarten. We still have 10 minutes before leaving, so eat, 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 eat. Hmm. Gentlemen, could you help me out with something? I have to write something on the cement, and I'll pay you. Uh-huh. Thanks. Here's more. That's all I have. I spent a lot on the flowers. <laughs> what do we write? Oh. Write Olga. I love you. Thank you, man. <laughs> Don't you have work? Lighten up, man. Let's help the poor guy. Remember that we are Bulgarian professionals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mommy, mommy. Oh, hello, my love. Oh. Oh, please forgive me. My casting went horribly and I just lost it. You know, I... I don't want to lecture you, but maybe you should think about trying to get some help. Maybe go to a facility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I'll get treatment, yeah. How are you, sweetie? Hmm? How are you? <laughs> Olga, oh my what? god! You gotta come! What's up? Come, come! What? Come inside, get in there! Go! <sighs> oh, 
I was worried sick about you. <sighs> I didn't sleep a wink thinking whether to call you or not, then I realized I have to make it up to you. So I... Uh... Don't say anything. He must sure love her a lot, huh? I think he did it because he cheated on her. Why would you think that? I just know. Come on, children, let's go. Here you go. <laughs> Listen, I completely forgot to tell you this. My dad gave me money, and I paid off your loan, baby. I wanted to tell you yesterday, but I... Oh, God, I don't know how to thank you. I'm a complete idiot. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me, my love? I love you. <laughs> yes, and I love you, too. <sighs> so well, I have to go. I can't skip out of work anymore. Hmm? <sighs> Here you go. each other, didn't I? And we're gonna continue doing so. Good luck, then. Hm. You know her, don't you? Surprise! <laughs> what the hell was Sasha doing in my apartment? What's wrong? Get... Is that teacher your get, wife? Seriously? Get in the car. Wow, she's like this boring mousy chick. How fun! Mm. <gasps> what the hell are you doing here? Uh, what do you mean? I rent an apartment in a building near here. <gasps> mm. And how did Sasha get to be in Olga's group? Listen, I had no idea that your wife worked in a kindergarten. Uh. <laughs> you concealed your family life so darn carefully. Listen, and actually, I don't have time for this. I have to go. Uh, no. Wait a sec, please don't go. <sighs> have you missed me? <laughs> Victoria, I've been going crazy. I thought you were gone. Never leave me again, baby. <sighs> Well, everything is going to depend on you, sweetie. <laughs> You want some more before I turn off the toaster? No, no thanks, Olga. Or I'll get super fat and you'll start loving me. <laughs> you might be right. <laughs> mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. By the way, today we're uh, having an outdoor adventure kind of day. Mm, sounds very interesting. We're going to the beach with Victoria. Could you have asked my opinion about it? I thought it'd be great to lay out in the sun for a bit. I'm not in the mood to mingle with random women. Come on, you'll get to know each other better at the beach. I don't want to get to know Victoria better, thanks. They got burnt. And where'd that weird friendship stem from? It's not weird at all. I'm just helping her. She's bringing up a little boy alone. It's hard to do, Dennis. Oh, for God's sakes, Olga. Next time, don't involve me in your charity hangouts, understood? <sighs> and I wanted you to show Sasha around the store. Play with some lizards. There are zoos for that. All right, fine. I won't bother you any more then, Dennis. Olga, you're not bothering me. This store is just really a little too much. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. By the way, about the tests, I've thought and decided that I'm ready to have them done. That's if they're open today. Well, I'll give them a call now. I'll sign you up. <laughs> Sasha, how do I look, baby? You look good, Mom. 
Mom, can I take a truck to the beach? It'll carry all the sand for me. Only if you drag it yourself. Yeah, I will. <laughs> you think it's funny, right? <sighs> Listen, Sasha, I've got something important to discuss with you. What is it? It's like this. Do you miss your daddy? Yeah, why doesn't he come visit us? Is daddy very angry with us? No, he isn't angry. He'll come soon. And remember, last week we watched a film together about children spies, I remember? 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 So, when you see your father today, you have to pretend like you don't know him. That would make Dad very sad. No, he won't be sad. It was all his idea. And if you do well, he will buy you a really awesome new toy, baby. What toy? A bicycle. Hooray! Hurry, hurry. Hurry. Oh, Olga! Miss hurry Olga, up. hi! Hurry. Ah. 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 Oh. Oh. What are you looking at? I always run with my high heels on. I feel more comfortable in them. <laughs> <laughs> Olga, isn't your husband coming with us? My husband stayed at home. He's a bit sick, but I promised him that we'd have fun. Oh, yeah, we'll have fun. <laughs> <sighs> Marina? Yulia? Yulia! Wow! And can I float on it? You should. You see? These special handles here? Yeah. You hold them and float. Here you go. What is this for? What do you mean? Ooh, it's a day off, the weather yeah. is great, and we're going to the beach. Well, actually, we were going to visit her grandparents. Come on, Mom. I want to go to the beach. Shoo, shoo. Julia, your grandparents are waiting. Look, I forgot about that. I'm sorry. I just thought that the weather is really good today. It's going to be raining all next week, and, well, maybe another time. Mom, come on, please. Please, Mom. Well, okay, I'll call your grandmother and say that we'll go Yay, over there the tomorrow. Beach. Go look for a cap, dear. Do it. Alex, I'm begging you, please. Next time, no surprises. Is that all right? Okay, sure. I just... I really forgot. Mom, what's the difference? We'll come tomorrow. There's a quarantine in Yulia's kindergarten, so we are free as birds. No, 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 don't worry. Everything is all right with her. Oh, oh, wait, Mom. Mom, I have another call. I'll call you back. Hello? Marina, hello. Uh, I'm glad you picked up the phone. It doesn't happen very often. Igor, haven't I asked you not to call? Well, I'm sorry. I could not. I was just driving past your house, and I miss you so much. I miss Yulia. Uh, Igor, uh, today is a day off, and we have plans. Let's meet on Monday and solve all the issues. Have a good day, then. <sighs> that was just work calling. Ah. Uh. I bought some sunscreen, just in case, for protection. <laughs> but I have some. All right? Should I put yes, them on for you? It. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Let's just get there first. And then I'll spread it on someone. I'll put it on someone. <laughs> I got gotcha. Get into the car. Hurry uh. up, you two. Sasha, give me my shoe. Hurry. Mom, I wanted to dig a hole with Sasha, me. use the shovel. There, dig with the shovel. Do you know how much shoes cost? You're out of your mind. Victoria, how'd it go with the casting yesterday? No dice. They should have said they needed an ugly girl up front. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, have you thought of maybe doing something else? It's not too late to go back to college. Oh, come on, girl. I barely finished high school. Oh, oh, look who's talking. Or do you mean to tell me you actually like working as a school teacher? Of course I do. Of course I like it. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't do it. Do you know how fun kids are? Oh. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Next, you're going to tell me that you and Dennis have a good relationship. Yeah. Come on. I'm really lucky to have Dennis. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're, I don't know how to say it better. We're totally soulmates. What? We're soulmates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys are soulmates. <laughs> look, the water must be good. Would you like to go for a swim? I'll look after Sasha. No. I'm sunbathing. It's a free solarium. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then I'll go. Hmm. <sighs> Sasha, don't throw sand at me. Stop. Oh, let's go in there. Ah, you want to because there's a tent with ice cream. <laughs> no, baby, we'll go where there's some shade. Then let's just buy ice cream first. Mom, Dad wants ice cream too. Dad, you want some ice cream, right? I wouldn't mind some, actually. <gasps> Are you in cahoots, guys? <laughs> you manipulators. Well, then we'll go buy ice cream and you find us a spot, okay? Uh-huh.
Looks like she's... She's drowning. Mommy, Olga's waving her arms out there. Look at her. Sasha, she's swimming this way. <gasps> Give me a towel. What happened to Olga? Why is she sleeping? It's okay, guys. Back off. I'm a doctor. Are you okay? You? Yes, it's me. I was passing by. Can't you swim or what? I just... I felt short of breath and everything just sort of disappeared. You know, this can be hereditary. Does anyone in your family have any heart conditions? My dad. Olga! What's wrong with you, dear? Look, your friend almost drowned just now. What's wrong with you? Don't shout at me, sir. She's with a child. She was busy with him. And I know you. You work in our kindergarten. Sasha, he's a doctor. I have to go. And I strongly recommend that you have your heart checked out. Who is that, Olga? <coughs> hmm? Do you know him? He's working in our kindergarten. He's installing cameras. What happened out there? <coughs> Look, there's Dad. Alex, where have you been? My God, why are you so wet? Look at you. Did you go swimming? Somebody almost drowned. You're kidding. You can't be left alone for a second, can you? Are they okay? I hope they made it. It's a she. Yes, she's alive. Everything's all right. Hey, can you lend me your cell? Mine's completely wet. Yes, of course. Let me grab it for you. I know her. Who know who? The woman who almost just drowned there. Mm. <sighs> Hello. Marina, how are you? It's me calling. Simon, can you talk right now? Yes, of course I'll wait. Uh-huh. That woman was at the center. Is she one of your patients or something? Not mine, Solovyova's. But this is important. Uh -huh. There's a relation between uh -huh. pregnancy. Hello, Irina. Tell me, do you have a patient? Her last name, I think, might be um, Prokhorova. Yes, that's right. She urgently needs a monitor to be installed. Yes. Um, is Daddy gonna have ice cream? No, eat both of them. Hooray! Daddy's I can't busy. open it. Mommy, how do I open it? I'm not sure either. Come on. Why are you lagging behind, Sasha? Hurry up. <sighs> I never would have imagined it. Heart condition. Why are you so worried just because some smartass blurted out something? He's not a smartass. He's a well-known doctor, a reproductologist, Alexei Sybin. A reproduct what? A specialist in medically assisted reproduction. Dennis and I go to a center, and that's where everybody knows Sybin. And has Dennis agreed to all this? What surprises you about that? Nothing at all. Dennis really wants children, and I dream about them, too. Mom, there's a carousel with cars. Let's go ride on it, please. Sasha, stop uh rattling with your truck. Stop. Come on, come on, get moving, because we need to take Olga home. Actually, I'm okay. We have no money for the carousel anyway. I'll pay for it. Mom, let's try the carousel. I said no. Why are you doing this? Doing what? Olga, stop encouraging him already. I just want to help, Victoria. Have you helped? <laughs> have you helped? Huh? Did you ask if we needed your help? Because we do not. <laughs> That's enough. All right, let's go. I don't want to. <sighs> I'm sorry, Olga. 
My nerves have been shot since the hospital. I just overreacted a bit. I understand. I understand you. And look, I'm sorry as well. I just wanted to warn you. If you happen to run into Dennis, I... <laughs> what are you talking about? Why would that happen? I don't even know him, Olga. Well, I'm sorry, but just in case you suddenly see him, don't tell him anything about today, okay? Yes, of course, no problem. Why are you lagging behind? Come on, go ahead. Victoria... He gets stuck behind me all the time. Wake up, sleepy. Wake up, sleepy head. <sighs> Olga, I'm not having breakfast at home today. I'm going straight to work. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day, babe. You'll be hungry until dinner time, though. I'll have a bite on my way there. Mm. So, honey, when will the results be ready? Mm. What results, Olga? Didn't you have the test done yesterday? Oh. Uh. Well, I've been standing there for 20 minutes at first, with some half-blind old lady looking for our medical records. Then I made it up to the treatment room, and they were on lunch break. And then? Then nothing, because I left. Actually, for the money that we pay that clinic, they should have better customer service. Okay, but why didn't you tell me about this earlier, then? <sighs> because I was going to go back, today or tomorrow. Just one day. A day doesn't make a difference, or mm. does it? I've got an appointment there today, and I thought I'd have some results for them. And I honestly thought this was important to you, too. It's important, Olga. It's important. I'll do everything and I'll tell you, okay? <sighs> Hello there. <laughs> Hi. Uh, <sighs> Don't hang around here. I'm begging you, Victoria. I don't mind. I'm wearing high heels. Let go of me. Are you insane? Why are you in touch with Olga, huh? Because of Sasha, I don't actually like her. Listen, I need some money. You're gonna have to take care of us. I tried to, but I'm not a millionaire. You've forgotten I just paid off my debts. Yeah? So you don't have money for Sasha, but you want a second child, right? Where did you get that from? Uh, your wife told me you wanted one. We're the bestest of friends now, right? Mm. Ah, uh, Listen to me. Easy. Uh, you better control yourself. I won't tell anyone about us. You just asked not to hide Sasha from you, right? You promised him the world, and I believed you like a fool, and you're not going to get divorced either. Victoria, try understand? to understand. I'm tired of understanding. I have two options. Either I have to demand alimony through the courts, or I take Sasha away, and you'll never see us again in your entire life. See ya, honey. Uh, just back off. Julia, don't play with your dad's cell phone, please. I wanted to check whether it's already dry or not. No, it hasn't dried yet. Come on, sit down and have breakfast. Gross, porridge. But I don't want porridge. Oh my god. When will this quarantine at kindergarten ever end? Why don't we make a deal? You agree to eat half of the porridge, and I'll take you out on the town, hmm? I want to go where Dad works. Oh, really? And why does that interest you? Sweetheart, Dad said that little this. tiny babies are growing and being born there the all the time. I want to take a look at them. I'm not sure exactly Pretty what please? happened. Pretty please? Are you serious? <laughs> Do you think that babies horrible. are growing like flowers in your dad's office, really? Mm. <laughs> but I am going to find out. Okay, fine. You we'll go. Sure of that. Eat up your porridge, and we'll we go to, to your daddy's work, okay? To get to the bottom of it. It's a deal. I know, honey. I need you to look at this. Uh, they've called me to correct a mistake. You see, it's just an ordinary hospital. There are no babies growing like flowers in pots. And inside my dad's office? Here, let's take a look at the schedule. Wow. That's strange. I don't see your father's name anywhere. Let's go to the registration desk. Come on. Office 201, Dr. Pankova. Thank you very much. You're welcome. 
Hi, good morning. Good morning. Could you tell me what office Sybin is working out of? Uh, Sybin isn't working for us at the moment. Uh, and where's the chief of staff's office? Go down the corridor, it's 216. Uh-huh. Come on, sweetie. Sit down here and wait for me. Mom, what should I do? I, I don't know. Draw something. Here you go. Draw there. All right, it's time. That disgrace should be erased. Why should we erase it? People see it and it makes them happy. Why would they be? She wants a child, but she can't have one. All the more reason. She's got no child, but still has a loving husband. Mm-hmm. Mm. Son of a gun. Give me a bit. Hello there, Dr. Salaviova, please. Have a seat. You'll be called soon. growing your baby inside your tummy? <laughs> no. No, not yet. And what are you doing here? My father works here. He's a doctor. His name's Sybin. Alexei Sybin? Uh-huh. <laughs> what are you drawing? It's a good one. It's a cat. It's walking on the roof. Ah, and you know what? If you draw the moon here... Uh-huh, it'll be beautiful. Very. Let's go. Come on, get out. But Hello. I'm not done Hello. yet, Mom. Let's go. Come on, come on. It's time for us to go. Mom, come on. Not yet. Prokhorova? Daddy. I don't know, but we are going to find out. Mom, I'll do it myself. Yes, hello. Marina, hello. My husband is ready to have all the tests done. He just can't come today to do them. He's stuck at work today, but when he finds the time, he's I don't want to talk about your husband. Okay, but I've had the tests done more than once. Yes, but I would like to install a cardio monitor in you for at least a day. There might be contraindications in your case. What contraindications? Tell me, what happened to you at the beach on Sunday? How do you know that? Therefore, I insist that you undergo an additional examination in Office 201, and I want it now. It's so annoying to walk around with it all day. Sergey. I'm not saying anything else. Do you see where she keeps me? Here. Go to bed. Don't sit down. Uh-huh. And when? Can I sit when down? When the doctor authorizes it. Mm -hmm. Lie down, lie down, uh, lie down, come on. Uh, Sergey, you know, you're like a child. Do you want to get well or not? Answer me that. I do. So? How's Olga? Olga's doing fine. Does fine mean that nothing's changed? Well, if you want to know whether she's had the time to divorce Dennis, then no. Don't worry about them. They're going to be just fine. They'll sort it all out. Hey, do you want me to peel an orange for you? Sure, peel it. Don't lean up against the glass. How is it? Tasty? It's cool. Can I have more? Ice cream? Of course. Run to the counter. Go choose. Hooray! Choose anyone you want. Uh-huh. Hmm. 
You know, I'm constantly thinking about us. It's not just an affair between us. Neither for you nor for me. Not even for Yulia. Why would we throw it all away? You know why. Do you love him that much? This isn't about love. Have you forgotten why he hasn't been here? He served time in prison because of me. I was driving that day, it was me. And Alex took all the blame. He lived in that hell for three years. His daughter grew up without him while I was... Marina. <laughs> Try to eat it slowly or I'll, you'll get brain freeze. Mm hmm Mom, I ordered the pistachio mm. flavor. <laughs> That's so nice. You know what, Yulia? That looks so delicious. Maybe you should order ice cream for your mom and me. You got it. Do it. You pick for us. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, I shouldn't insist. You have nothing to apologize for, hmm? All of this is my fault. No. You had no other choice, I know that. You were supposed to stay with Yulia. If I were your husband, I would have done the same thing. But time goes by and everything changes. You can't feel indebted to him forever. Hey, why did you tell Arena about my heart? Don't you have anything better to do with your life? If you want to die, it's your business. But your doctor should know about all your conditions. And the loss of a patient would reflect badly on the center. What? I want to have a child, do you understand? I'm ready to take a chance and that's my business alone. You told me yourself that I should keep my hope alive, right? So why are you making it more difficult for me to hope? If it had happened in my family, I would have done the same, believe me. It's easy for you to say you have a daughter. <laughs> How do you know that? I saw her today at your center, and by the way, she's a very intelligent and kind-hearted girl. Was it something I said? My wife doesn't know I'm not working there. I never thought they'd go to the clinic. My phone got wet and... But... But, but she'll understand. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? And where's Yulia? I wanted to see you alone. I took Yulia to my parents' place. I can't miss work anymore because of the kindergarten quarantine. How's work? You must be tired, huh? Why didn't you tell me about the job? I have connections in the medical field. You know I could find you a decent position. I don't want to work at another place. But what if they make you wait long? I'll sort it out. 
Don't worry, we won't have problems with money. It's not about the money at all. I don't care where you work and who you work for. What does bother me is that you don't trust me. Of course I trust you. You and Yulia are everything I have. You're a fool, Simon. <laughs> Look at that. It goes Olga, there. guess who I met today in the kindergarten? Who'd you meet? I met your little lifeguard. He's not mine. Not yours? No. Then why are you blushing so much? Don't get any <gasps> ideas. And I yelled at him today. Can you imagine? How embarrassing. He's in enough trouble as it is. Four. One, oh, come two, on. Three, four. Mm. You do know you that return. love is about 80% pity. You've heard about that, right? Don't make something mm -hmm. out of nothing. Okay, I won't bother you. Will you stay with Sasha for 20 minutes? Because I need to go out. What? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not going out for a drink. I just need to meet with Sasha's dad. Daddy! Yes, Daddy. <laughs> He's going to give me some money. See ya. All right, good luck. That's it, now it's my turn. You're better at this than me, huh? A four. Nice. One, two, three, four. Hi, who's looking after Sasha? I'll give you three guesses. Seriously, he's with Olga Victoria. What did I ask you not to oh, do? Oh, Dennis, don't get angry. I need help, and Sasha really likes her. And what if she wants to know who his father is? <laughs> she won't want to. Your wife is very tactful and well-mannered. Okay? Wow. <laughs> What's with this miracle? You have to move from here and change Sasha's school. Uh, yeah, but I like it here. Well, I don't like it. What don't you like? You're in Olga's friendship. <laughs> Well, darling, maybe now you'll start paying up faster just by knowing I can tell your wife about us anytime I want to. Victoria! I need more. It's nothing personal. I'm just a mom. Are there any cases of heart condition in your family? Yes, my dad had a heart attack. How's that related? Very much. Conditions of the heart relate to everything. Nerves, gynecology, and heredity. I can honestly tell you that I don't like your results. Yeah? And what should I do? I'm ready to start treatment. I didn't want to frighten you, but I have to inform you. You are aware that the mortality rate from heart disease in pregnant women is extremely high. The load increases, the supply to the myocardium, it worsens. Have you and your husband ever considered possibly adopting a child? Is this really that serious? Didn't Marina kill you yesterday? No, nah, we worked it out fine. Because I think you should write her love notes on her window like some people do, you know? Then everything works out. Uh-huh. Oh, never mind. You wouldn't understand. Because Bulgarians don't do that stuff. Okay, I need to go pay my phone bill. Okay. Alexi. <sighs> nice to see you. Hello, Olga. What a cold hello. You're treating me like I'm the enemy. Please don't do that. Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey, listen. I, uh, I have a book. It's for your daughter. I know she's very good at drawing, but sculpting is even more interesting. It develops a child's fine motor skills. Thank you, Olga. I want to apologize for having been so rude to you. I hope all of your problems have been resolved. With your wife, I mean, you know? Yes, it's all okay now. 
Forgive me for meddling in your personal life. It's okay. I was at the cardiologist. And what did he say? Uh, he said I'm gonna need to have surgery. I need bypass surgery. I know a very good cardiac center, where both the equipment and specialists are excellent. It's not about that. I'm... I'm just not ready. I'm terrified of it. Uh, I... I understand. Olga. Dennis? Who's that guy? That's, uh, Alexei Sybin, a doctor. This is Dennis, my husband. Hey, Doc. You forgot your keys to the apartment. I have inventory at work today. I'll be late, so I decided to bring them to you. Thank you. See ya. See ya. That was pretty embarrassing. You have to tell him about the surgery. He's got a lot of problems right now. And I also need to think first. Hello, Igor. <clears throat> Please don't do this. I can't live like this anymore, and neither can you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Stop it. Stop it. I have to go. Uh, let's Dennis. do it again. <laughs> Let me go. Vicky, do you know what's going on with Olga? You guys are friends now. Uh-huh. We're friends. Sure, good friends. <laughs> Do you mean what happened at the beach? Why, what happened at the beach? Don't tell me you don't know. She had a heart attack, she almost drowned, and a man saved and revived her. <sighs> what man was that? I don't know. He works at their kindergarten, sets cameras or something. <sighs> Stop! <laughs> what are you doing? <sighs> so Olga told me that he's some sort of famous doctor. <sighs> Dr. Doolittle? No, Dr. Sivan, that's what she said. <sighs> Done. <sighs> Alexei? Maybe Alexei. I don't know and don't care. Your password, Victoria? Three sevens. Alexei Saipin is a distinguished doctor sentenced to 10 years in prison for a vehicular homicide. This is very interesting. Yes, it is. Victoria, can you help me? <laughs> what do I get for doing it?
Olga Prokhorova, please. That's me. Come on in. Thank you. All right, Mrs. Prokhorova. Let's go through this again so that everything is clear. So then, in the event of your sudden death, all of your property, including your apartment, is passed on to your spouse, Denis Prokhorova. Denis Ivanovich Prokhorova. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. Do you have any children in this marriage? No. Not yet. How about sisters or brothers? No. Ah, over here, please. Your signature. Okay? Okay. You got it? Sasha, okay, fine, Sasha. Yeah. Oh, Konovalov. Yes, yes, yes. We're from the third group. It seems to me he's adjusting well and he likes it. Well, in principle, yes. We like everything. Sure, with Mrs. Olga here, everyone seems to like mm, everything. Yes, but there's something else. You have young men working here. They hang some wires, cameras, and I recognize one of them. I'm talking about the former Dr. Sivan, and I'm scared for my child. Try to understand me. I'm a mother. Uh, care to tell me more about this person? Yeah. The man just got out of prison. The man is a criminal. He was in for murder. So then, for the dinosaur, we need one ball for the head and five sausages for the paws and the tail. I'll scope the paws and the tail, and too. And I'll make the head. All Hi, right. guys. Hi, Mommy. Hi, you. What are you guys doing? We're making some dinosaurs. Why are you so late? Traffic. It was at a standstill. Did you two have dinner? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Want me to reheat it? No. I'll probably take a shower and just go to bed because I have a headache. Mm. This is for you. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> just like that, I have a new phone. Aren't you jealous? Hmm. I'll get it. Mm. Dad? Uh-huh. Uh, do you like pistachio ice cream? Oh, honey, I don't know. I probably do. Do you want ice cream? Of course, it's really yummy. I was at the cafe yesterday. Mm -hmm. I had ice cream there. Well, that's just great. You have a visitor. For me? I'll be back. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay. What's up, Boris? Uh, Alex. Let's go outside. We need to talk. Okay, yeah, sure. Alex, take the garbage out, will you? Hi. You're home late today. Yeah, I stopped somewhere after work, yes. Where at? Come on. I went somewhere. Does it matter? Have you had dinner? What's going on? I just keep thinking about the man you were talking to near the kindergarten. You mean Alexei? I just gave him a book for his daughter. Give me your cell phone. Let me see who called you today. Are you out of your mind? Dennis, please stop just it. Just give me your damn purse. So that's the deal. And most importantly, I don't understand how the director suddenly found out about you. Be careful, man. So that's what happened. Actually, Alex, look, this is your half. Can you do it alone? I'm gonna have to. Okay, that's it. I have to go. They're expecting me. Come on, cheer up. Bulgarian. Ha, say hi to Marina. Mm. Thank you, Boris. You're welcome, man. Olga, why did you have a will made?
because you're the closest person in my entire life. And if something ever happens to me, I want you to be taken care of. Come here, sit down. Olga, forgive me, I'm a complete idiot. I'm really sorry. What would ever happen to you? Well, I have to have an operation on my heart. Otherwise, I can't have a child. Olga, well, we can always Listen try to me. A child will bring us together, and my dad will stop being angry. And honestly, I'm ready to do whatever it takes for a child. So, Vladimir's stuck in traffic? Give me that. I got it. In traffic? Then we need to call a taxi. No, we're fine. How are you guys? Everything is fine with us. But I can't wait. I have to go to work. Well, go then. Of course, go, go, yes. Yeah? Will you call me when you get there, though? Sure we will. All right, and don't forget, we're coming over tonight. Yes, don't worry, we won't forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. If only she could get pregnant sooner. I don't even want to think about that. Mmm, there. I ate all my porridge. Why haven't you finished yours yet? There's raisins in it. They're ugly and look like roaches. <sighs> it's useless. I've given up on trying. She must have heard that in school. Mm. Do you know how raisins are made? Whole bunches of grapes are laid on the roof, and they just lie there under the sun and it makes a delicious smell. And all the children are on the grapes. They just can't wait until they're ripe. But if you don't like them, then... What are they like? It's okay, but ice cream is better. And no one's going to argue that. We'll go to the cafe this weekend and have ice cream. Are we going to the cafe where we went with Igor? With Igor? Uh, <laughs> Igor! My colleague, remember I told you about him? He helped me a lot while you were gone. I thought I told you. Mm. Can you get that? Hello? Give that to me. I want to eat the raisins, Mom. Yes. That's enough. Mom, Yulia, stop. Mom. Thank you, Vasily. I will. I will. Who called? Vasily. He managed to get the budget and told me to come get my job back. Oh my god, that's awesome! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's great! Congratulations! Thanks, Marina. <sighs> I said stop it. Go get dressed, Yulia. 